A Tianjin Eco Cities master developer says the project's next focus is to be a place where the low carbon economy can thrive and grow. The flagship government to government project between Singapore and China turns 15 this year. Singapore Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong is in China and will mark the anniversary during his visit. CNA's Olivia Xiong has more. 65-year-old Li Shu Wang and his wife are regulars at their neighborhood community center in Tianjin Eco City. It's where they've made many friends over the years. In 2013, they were among the first to buy a home and move into the Eco City from a nearby district. The retired couple had bet on the development even as others had doubts. Still, the transformation was beyond their own expectations. Today, the Eco City has over 150,000 residents, schools, and large shopping malls. All of the Eco City's buildings are also green. It may be hard to picture it right now, but prior to the construction of the Eco City, this area was made up of mostly salt pans, barren land, and polluted water bodies. This lake, in fact, used to be a wastewater pond, but now this area has been transformed into a recreational spot for residents. On the project's 10th anniversary in 2018, authorities announced that the initial development located in the south was complete. They would focus next on the central district and city centre. Since then, a new smart library and an urban park have opened. Beyond building a livable city, the master developer now wants Tianjin Eco City to be a place that supports companies in the low carbon economy. Many of these will be startup companies, which means that the environment uh, uh, must be very conducive in a way that you will have access to funding. You need to have venture capital, you need to work with incubators, accelerators. Uh, you need to have uh, a regulatory environment that is uh, more appropriate, uh, meaning allowing them to test their products, even, even if it's fairly new. This has been a draw for Singapore driverless vehicle company Movita. It won a tender earlier this year to test its autonomous buses in the Eco City, with the goal of making its fleet part of the public transport network. Movita will open an office here by year end and a one stop manufacturing hub with a bus maker in Xiamen. Eventually, it hopes to leverage the Tianjin port to export its vehicles to more markets. There are quite a number of uh, players. Uh, in the autonomous vehicle space in China. So there's always this uh, this uh, competition issues, especially uh, when you're dealing with those who are maybe financially stronger. In the past, we have also looked, at, looked into other places like Beijing, like Shanghai. The brand name and what Eco City uh, is, is trying to promote, like uh, low carbon, green, eco, eco-friendly, uh, this smart city, so all this falls into what we believe and what we are also striving towards. While the master developer hopes more like Movita will set up in the eco city, it admits there could be challenges given headwinds facing China's economy. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Tianjin.